Hi, my name is Rahul Shukarma, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Mate Labs, where we are building one of India's best AI startup and helping large FMCG companies with accurate demand forecasting. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about how do you build an AI startup? How do you approach as a team member, as a founder, as an investor? How do you how do you look at all the problems, all the ideas around as well? But today, I would like to talk about one of the one of the very uh, critical fundamental blocks of building an AI startup which is a data scientist i'll be talking to you guys as a data scientist how to become a, a good one at it how do you become a good data scientist now before i go forward in this let me tell you there are three career prospects in it one is ml researcher the most fancied the most talked about second is an ml engineer who basically works on the ai products make them scalable and third is a data scientist who works on the solutions who works on solving complex problems using machine learning algorithms now the names can be changed across the industry i'm just using it for the purpose of this video but the names of this profile can be anything across the industry it's not standardized right now so don't think too much on that now let me start the first one itself how do you become a good ml researcher and what is the right place uh, to do that one the right place to do it basically an ml researcher is someone who works on core technologies who works on researches and only researches the one thing to look for if you want to take that path is your how good are you at maths how good are you in statistics probability calculus how good are you in understanding a lot of these concepts at the very detail and do you even want to work at that level of detail the best place to work for that is either a university such as stanford probably or mit or a core ai startup where they are working on solving core ai problems now in this domain all you have to do is just keep working on multiple experiments keep working on multiple experiments and that's it because most of the times it's it's like lego puzzle you can create a palace a dreamland out of uh the the lego blocks so it's up to you what do you want to do with it the second i would like to talk about is an ml engineer who works on the product now the best place to work for ml engineer is a ai startup or any startup for that matter which basically works at scale works in functions at scale now for this one of the prerequisites is how good are you as a back end engineer and can you understand working knowledge of machine learning how certain algorithms work and that's it not in the details of how the maths behind it works you don't need that all if all you want to do is making products you don't want to go into the depths of uh, various algorithms all you need to know is okay these are certain algorithms there are these bottlenecks in these algorithms and how do you overcome them that's it and just be creative around that now how do you be good at that is again just building products itself and i'll talk about one key thing at the end of the video uh, what links everything and then after that it's all common from there the third is as a data scientist how do you get good at how do you become a good data scientist is pick a problem statement and build domain expertise first before you even develop expertise in around algorithms i would recommend build domain understanding first because you're solving a particular problem and to solve a particular problem you need to understand that problem statement well in the real world so if you don't have domain understanding probably that is not going to work now let me talk about all three of them combined and then how do you become good at it see if you're just in the college right now right 
I am sure you would be fancied with so many courses that are available online. You would be tempted to join one of them as well. But as a company, we really don't see that as a condition to hire someone. Why? Because a lot of these courses doesn't really offer the right skill sets. It doesn't really develop the right skill set in you guys. And most of the time, we have to make them unlearn and then work upon them. So that's a lot more effort, basically. With all due respect to all the courses that are being run around, but that's the reality. That you have to make a choice. What do you want to go about? And all three of them are fancy in their own terms, are respectful and respectable in their own terms. One gets to work on the very, very depth of the field. Another works at connecting the, uh, the technology to the real world problem. And another one just works at scaling it up. All three of them are equally important. Now, for all three of them, one of the key things is intuition. That is one thing that almost every data scientist has to develop over time. And most of them don't have it right now. We interview literally thousands of people every uh, year, believe it or not. And after interviewing literally thousands of people, I can tell you with some data that there's this one thing that is almost missing from 95% of the audience here is the intuition. How do you develop the intuition first, right? See, for that, you always have to think about the algorithm and the problem statement. That's where not a lot of people teach you this thing. Be it a researcher, be it an ML engineer, be it a data scientist. You have to think about a problem statement and then think about the algorithms. Once you start thinking them together, always, the intuition will accelerate. The development of that will accelerate. Or else, even five years to eight years into the career, you will not uh, uh, be good at intuition. And that is what separates a good data scientist from an average data scientist. Develop intuition by running multiple experiments. Develop intuition by knowing more about the problem statements. Pick one and stick to it for at least a year. Till the time you haven't gotten the confidence that you look at the problem and you can tell what are the bottlenecks that you'll have, face in it. That is it for today. I wish all the budding data scientists all the best. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or any doubts. Comment down below and we would love to help you out. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.